Hello everybody and welcome to another uh, golden uh, shot. Difficulty level is hard and me and Amelia we're going to give you the best advice here to absolutely crush it. We're gonna play Quail Hollow and this one was absolutely brilliant when we played it the last time and hopefully it's gonna be that now as well. Before we take a closer look make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that do want to have the best guides on the market for tour play and tournament play, you go to patreon.com slash clash Tommy. Either scan the QR code in the golden shot text guide or you go directly to through the link that is in the description down below. Alright, Quail Hollow, I do think this is hole 7 or it is hole number 8. I'm not sure to be honest, but any of them it is. And if you do get the hole in one, it's the obsidian chest. Amber chest for the yellow ring, crimson chest for the red ring. We do have aqua chest for the light blue ring and cobalt chest for the dark blue ring. Press the question mark on the top right to get to the frequently asked questions for the golden shot. If you do experience an error or have more questions, then you can send a ticket to the Gold Clash support. All right, let's take a look at the landing position here. And the landing position is going to be the following. We're going to look uh, to have the bottom right of the red ring by the sand then the second bounce to be directly over the pin and this is before spin so it's very important that you set your target before you add the spins suggested because otherwise you will be way off when it comes to the club we're playing we're playing with the golden long iron every single time doesn't matter what wind we have and we are adjusting max plus 10 you do have the vpr table on the right hand side and obviously in the text guide as well Let's take a look at the shots and we have five shots for you and we start off here with the red ring by the sand, ball guideline to point needle to the hole, simple uh, and easy reference here. Then we have southeast wind and according to the guide we should be playing this one four backspin and sorry if you have four backspin and 0 0.1 left spin. Now I'm just referring to the guide not really what I'm playing in the video because there will be some slight uh, differences to what I'm playing in the video sometimes uh, as we're tweaking as we go. Center the ball and it's perfect. Perfect ball it is. And you can see the ball bounce on the fairway. You can see here now that we're coming in a tad too hot. That's why the four backspin is going to be needed here and not the 3.8 that I'm using in the video. Let's take a look at what we're getting in the crimson chest. And we do have the epic as a big topper. Next shot on line, now we do have a northeast wind, maybe a little bit more crosswind than what we do have tailwind. And we're setting up with the red ring by the sun, ball guideline into the hole. <laughs> and then uh, we're adding spins here. We should be playing 4.3 backspin with no side spin. Adjust is four rings total. And as always, we're pulling over the bullseye. Amelia's tired today, as you can all see. <laughs> Four rings it is. And we're going to send to the ball. And uh, it's perfect. Perfect it is. Bounces on the fairway up towards the pin. And we're getting just, just right here. A little bit unlucky, but we should have added a click of left spin here due to the slightly more crosswind. Cobalt chest it is. And let's see what we're getting. We do have the Firefly. It took, I think it was the Firefly. Um, but it did go very quick. So now, Southwest Wind. So we do have the Red Ring by the Sun. And we do have Ball Guideline into the hole. And here we are going to play with 4 backspin and 0 0.1 right spin. So very little amount of side spin. 5.9 miles per hour is 3.5 rings, and we are going to pull over the bullseye. Pulling over the bullseye, and then we're going to center the ball, and he's perfect. Perfect ball it is. Bounces on the fairway, lovely. Up towards the pin. Now we're getting finally our first hole in one. Dropping it hard right side. But who cares really. It's all about getting that drop. Let's see what we are getting in the obsidian chest. 
Berserker Balls obviously 9 of them and then we do have the Hammerhead as an epic. Move on and we do have a win coming right to left with Tailwind and again ball guideline to be directly over the pin or uh, by the hole or whatever you wanna uh, however you wanna phrase it and then we're gonna play 4 backspin 0 0.2 left spin here this type of spin suggestion is not really following the norm and the reason it's not doing that is due to the fact that we are pulling down into the sound so when pulling down into the sound we're going to lose distance so not so instead of having to push up to compensate for that we're using different spins to compensate for that instead perfect ball it is bounces on the fairway up towards the pin getting it to drop on the other side now hard left for a beautiful hole in one. Let's see what we do get in this chest besides the nine berserkers. Oh, not the nine berserkers as it is the amber chest, but getting some berserkers and the horizon as a club. Last but not least, we do have a win coming left to right with headwind. And what do you Come to go in all? Mm, yes. Yeah, Amelia believes that this is going to go in the hole. So we'll see if it uh, does like that. So 4 backspin, 0 0.1 left spin, 6.3 miles per hour is 3.8 rings. And once again, we're going to pull over the bullseye. There we go. And now center the ball and hit perfect. Perfect ball it is. Bounces on the fairway, up towards the pin. And this time... Getting it dead center for a lovely hole in one. Boom! <laughs> Let's see what we do get in the final chest here. Now it is the obsidian chest again, as it is another account. Circus and some Endering cards, which is nice. There we do have it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's take a look at the text guide. Now we do not have the correct text guide here, so we're going to change that to um to the correct one, obviously. Um, and I mean, the fun thing would be if you would be playing the Jubilee Grove here, mm -hmm. that would, I mean, that would be difficult for you to get the correct, <laughs> the correct <laughs> settings. All right, here we do have it shot structure before spin, the bottom of the red ring by sand slash bunker, ball guide line, second bounce to be directly over the pin. Scan the QR code for the access to the best guides on the market, including this week's sixth, sixth anniversary nine hole cup. Spins, direct tailwind. Max backspin, wind coming left to right with tailwind, 4.3 backspin, no side spin, wind coming right to left with tailwind, 4 backspin, 0.2 left spin, wind coming left to right with crosswind, 4.2 back, 0.2 left, wind coming right to left with crosswind, 4.2 back, 0.2 right, wind coming left to right with headwind, 4 backspin, 0.1 left spin, wind coming right to left with uh, uh, headwind, 4 backspin, 0 0.1 right spin, direct headwind, 3.8 backspin. Find this text guide in the uh, video description or you go to goldclashtommy.com and find it on our golden shot page. You can obviously find this guide in more or less all the Gold Clash communities around the web. And please subscribe to Tony Richardson's channel. He's the one making the text guides in a beautiful way based on my shots and my shots only. So, thank you so much everybody for watching. I, we both wish you the best of luck in the golden shot.